Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks. So yeah, this is your 21 card Gypsy Tarot Love Spread for the month of February 2017. Now the deck that I'm using for this is the Chiro Marchetti Gilded Tarot. It's a real favourite of mine. The image is stunning on these cards. What I've also started doing as well, is I'll show you the advice cards that are used, but what I've also started doing as well is using... Uh, clarifies for certain areas so if something doesn't make sense to me I'll, I'll use um, Tarot Made Easy by Barbara Moore simply bought this deck because the imagery I love the cards and the uh, illustrations on the cards I always use cards with figures on them because I like to see the interaction between the cards as well so those are used as clarifiers and finally advice cards that I use I always use as an advice card the Romance Angels by the wonderful Doreen Virtue. She's such a light, beacon of light. I also use, if it's needed though, Healing with the Angels advice. Uh, spiritual advice, Psychic Tower of the Heart. And in terms of your point of attraction advice, Getting into the Vortex by Esther and Jerry Hicks. But I only use these cards if I feel that they're actually needed in the reading. But that you'll always have an advice card from the Romance Angels. That is... Um, standard so let's get on with your reading then universe spirit show me what is the advice that you have show me the advice that you have for Sagittarius in the month of February 2017 what is the advice show me the advice that you have for Sagittarius give me the advice that you have for Sagittarius all I need to see is the love lives of Sagittarius so just show me what's coming in for love for Sagittarius. Show me love for Sagittarius in the month of February 2017. This is like a special Valentine's reading for Sagittarius. So show me love. What's going on with love, their love lives in the month of February 2017? Show me love in the month of February 2017. This is a 21-card Gypsy Tarot spread, so I need to see the mental and emotional state for Sagittarius in February 2017. What their personal situation is. Hopes and desires concerning their love lives for Sagittarius. And this is Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Their expectations concerning love. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. I'm only concentrating. I only want to see Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising signs, please. And anybody that's connected to them in this love reading. Show me any hidden factors that they might not see coming in for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Show me the immediate future going into the end of February. Perhaps going into March as well for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. And also the overall outcome for their love lives. February going into March for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Show me. Alright. We're going to split the deck into three. Collect it back up. And we're going to start laying. I'll have to lay down so it's... Um, Uh, upside down to me. This is why I have a monitor that I can see through. Um, so I can see what's going on in the... Um, shows me up right on the monitor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm going to be coming back with some Twin Flame readings. Who is your Twin Flame soulmate? I haven't told any of the signs yet. But it's fascinating, these readings are. I really want to see. A lot of people got their soulmates, twin flames out there that I ain't seen in a long time. Shit like that. And it would be interesting to see if those readings really do correlate to you guys. I'm probably going to do a year, you know, year ahead or just for the next, uh, you know, the next year. Who is your soulmate, twin flame? Who is your true soulmate, twin flame? I'm going to be doing these readings. So watch, keep your eyes out for them because they're coming probably in February as well. As a special treat. I always like to treat my um, my subscribers. I love you all so much. Every single one of you. You've been a real support to me. Seriously. And I don't forget that. So I want to put out as much treats as I possibly can. To you guys. As many free readings as I can. Obviously I don't want to overload the channel with them. Because everything's got to remain authentic. But as much as I can do. In terms of free readings. I want to do them. So let's have a look. Your mental and emotional state. Uh, Sagittarius concerning your love lives in the month of February 2017. 
Well, the energies around your mental and emotional state of the Three of Pentacles could be three people. You get Three of Pentacles, sometimes this is a third spoke in the wheel. Sometimes somebody feels that they are kind of getting in the way of two other people. So sometimes this can represent the outsider as well, feeling that you're kind of in the way of a couple of other people, or you're getting in the way of maybe your friend and their boyfriend, or a friend's getting in the way of you and your boyfriend or girlfriend, or that type of thing. Sometimes this means when you get the Three of Pentacles results, when you get three of pentacles, it's about being results driven. Now, you'll notice that there aren't three people on here. There are three pentacles, okay? Now, there are three aces, basically, on the... And ace of pentacles is about the start of... Uh, aces represent conceptions, so it's good, all right? Aces represent the conception, not of an idea, but the starting, uh, the conception, the start of a resolution when you get the ace of pentacles, Sometimes it's not a love reading, okay? So we can't say it's a material thing, you know, that you're being given money. This isn't the thing here with this card uh, in terms of love, all right? Three of, you know, when you look at it, an ace. An ace in terms of love, ace of pentacles, is when you're starting to feel something a bit deeper, when you can start to see or you're starting to build that relationship in terms of something that's long-term, more grounded. It's not, you're not at the ace of wands stage where it's the beginning of absolute passion, it is passion, or the Ace of Cups where you're starting to develop feelings for someone, you know, or the Ace of, Ace of Swords is good because Ace of Swords is like the Ace of Pentacles, okay, it's a rock solid card when it comes to love, sometimes it's severance with the Ace of Swords, but sometimes it's where mentally you are certain that this person is the one, you're starting to develop the idea that this person could be the one, and the Ace of Pentacles is a card, and even though this is the Three of Pentacles, what I'm trying to explain is that we have three Aces on this card, so it's triple, the effect really this is a result three pentacles are threes in readings are results okay so you get the empress that guides the number threes and this is the success that somebody is deriving from more than their hard work and effort and it's the same with the three of pentacles here this person has put a lot of hard work into something and he's looking at his uh, results and he's saying this is really good so this is why i often look at three of pentacles and eight of pentacles as being cards about perfection and trying to strive for perfection and to do a job well done it's not about getting things out so that you get them done it's about literally looking at your work and saying you know this is the card about being very very skillful building your skills as well so the energies around your love lives might be around building and expanding a relationship potentially with the eighth of, with the three of pentacles but it's also about getting good results from the hard work of your labor let's have a look what your actual this should be a good card really well there we go it is your mental and emotional state is the empress you might be thinking of an empress here sagittarius all right, so empresses are usually representative, I believe, of Libra, can be Aries, Leo, Taurus. All right, I've heard those zodiac signs banded about for the empress. So you, your mental and emotional might be on. Sometimes when you get the empress and mentally and emotionally, mentally you can be doing a lot of self-improvement within yourself. So it might be that, you know, around you, three of pentacles, this, there is a case of, you know, uh, you are working hard, you are looking for results maybe within a relationship, the energies are working hard to um, bring some results in terms of a relationship, expand a relationship, build on a relationship with that three of pentacles, and the mental and emotional uh, self, it might be with the empress as well, if you're looking at your own self, then you're building on yourself, so there's things like with the empress of getting a nice hairstyle, or, you know, buying a nice suit if you're a guy, or getting a nice haircut if you're a guy, you know, getting um, a nice facial if you're a guy. If you're a woman, you know, facials, possibly a bit of plastic surgery if you fancy it, boobs done, you know, uh, lips done. Um, if you've got any kind of wrinkles, getting those taken care of, um, you know, things like uh, facials again, hairstyle, makeup, nice clothing. The Empress is about self-improvement more than anything with this card. It's not just about finding somebody sexually attractive or being superficially attracted to an individual, but it's also about, you know, your own self-worth and your own attractivity. So this is really a, a very, it's a very, very superficial card is the Empress, and it is. Sometimes when you get the Empress, it means that you're indulging too much in the finer things in life. Sometimes this can mean a shopaholic, that type of thing. Sometimes you get the Empress in the reverse, especially if it's something to do with the self. It can mean that you're actually wasting your resources, the natural resources, the resources that you have around you. So it can mean that you're taking your money and you're just spending it on, you know, really silly things, that type of thing. So, But it's in the upright and it's good. So if it's mental and emotional, some of you guys are working on yourself here. Mentally and emotionally, it might be also that you're focused on somebody, an Empress. This can be male or female, 
all right, just because it's a female character. Remember, the emperor, which is the empress's counterpart, is not about beauty. Emperor is about structure, okay, creating order, foundations, authority, control. She's not about control, all right, the empress. The emperor is about, empress is about beauty. Internal and out, external is about nurturing, mothering, caring, supporting. So your mental and emotional um, thoughts and uh, emotions might be on a very supportive and caring partner here with the Empress. You might have your views, your thoughts, your focus on an Empress, male or female. Somebody who's not only very externally desirable, but internally they're very nurturing, they're very kind, they're very sweethearted. The Empress is also about mutual attraction. It's ruled, ruled by, the, um, by the planet of Venus, the planet of love. Now, the planet of Venus doesn't just rule love, it re, uh, rules material aspects. So, for example, with this Empress, you might be looking at a relationship, mentally and emotionally, you might feel that a relationship has great potential, especially as you've got this Three of Pentacles showing here. Sagittarius as being the energies around your mental and emotional. This is the threes represent building. They represent the initial progress or the initial success that you have in a particular um, in a particular creative or particular uh, project that you're actually working on. So this is the card of expansion, but it's expansion in terms of um, in terms of groundedness and in terms of reality. So this is the card that would show, usually on the ride away, you get people, uh, two people on this card and they're looking over at a skilled tradesman. So usually I've seen this card turn up an awful lot of time when people are still signing mortgage papers, or when a couple are looking to um, rent a place together, that type of thing, you know, rent a home together. So it's very much a home card, speaking to estate agents, building a life together, looking to move in with a partner. And if that's the case for some of you guys, the energies being that around maybe a relationship, then the Empress is that, you know, mentally and emotionally, you see this relationship is very fruitful. It has somewhere to go. This is your soulmate. Empress is another one of those soulmate cards. Because with an Empress card, especially if the feelings are mutual, you both see the potential for something to grow quite, quite greatly within the relationship. This is the Empress is extraordinarily healthy. Mentally and emotionally for some of you guys, if you're female or male, you're uh, mental and emotional. Some of you guys emotionally, you might be feeling that you're pregnant. You might be sensing that you're pregnant maybe. Or you might want to become pregnant because the Empress represents pregnancy and motherhood. So mentally and emotionally, you might be very, very focused on settling down and becoming a mother, especially if the energies are around building the relationship. Let's have a look at what the reason is for the Empress though. It should be good. Oh, that's interesting, death. Well, it's not a bad card at all, you know. Um, the energy is a number three around your mental and emotional state. Now, number threes are uh, combined energy, all right? It's not a, you know, it's not a, um, an energy. We don't have death here, and we don't have the hermit here. We've got a card that speaks about results. It's a very results-driven card, is the three of pentacles. It's about working with others to bring about a successful outcome on a situation. Three of Pentacles is an exceptional card. It's about recognition, being recognised for your work. So the energies might also be about re being recognised. So we could read this in several ways. For some of you guys, the energies might be around building a life with a particular person here, in which your mental and emotional state is built on growing the relationship. It's very fruitful. It's very bountiful, the relationship. You can see yourself living your life through with this individual. All right, you can see yourself maybe becoming a mother, okay? The relationship, mentally and emotionally, you're feeling the relationship is very supportive, it's very nurturing with this person. This is somebody who's very, very beautiful to you, all right? They're very gorgeous, everything about their hips, their body. If it's a woman, their hips, their boobs, their this, their that, their face. Everything is gorgeous to you. If it's a man, it's the same thing, the body, the face. Uh, the way that they come across, their personality is lovely. It's all the things that we get with that Empress card. Mentally and emotionally, it's very positive. And if it's based on death, it's because a big change came into your life. Maybe you were single for a time and suddenly death means a big change. It's not always the death of, uh, you know, a bad thing. It means that some, you know, you just come from one phase into another. So some of you guys, it might be that, you know, you've entered from being single into being in a couple. And for some of you guys, it might be that the relationship wasn't so strong before, but now it's just stepped up a gear with this Empress card and that Three of Pentacles. For some of you guys, the Three of Pentacles here might be the energies are around receiving recognition. So therefore, that recognition that you want with the Three of Pentacles for all of the... And remember, the three the Pentacles are about improvement as well. So three, the Three of Pentacles, this person works very hard to develop these Pentacles. All right? So, he's, you know, these Pentacles are real time. They're what we actually do as people. They're what we actually do. All right? It's the work that you put in. 
It's the results that you get out of what you've put in. This is what pentacles represent, the outcomes for labour. So this person's looking at all their hard work on the card and they're thinking, yeah, not a bad job, not a bad job at all, actually. So the energies are around self-improvement. You're doing something in the real world to improve, to, but also to get recognition because this person gets recognition for what they do. So therefore, mentally and emotionally, the Empress. The I feel that the improvement for some of you guys, if it's not a relationship, is all about you, what you're doing, you know. The energies are about improving your life, getting recognition for all of the hard work that you've been putting into a certain area of your life. And therefore, mentally and emotionally, you're feeling the Empress. You're probably feeling beautiful. You've probably been, you know, this Three of Pentacles, yeah, at the end of the day, as I've said, is all about being recognised for what you've done. So, for example, if you've been going to the hairdressers, if you've been, um, if you've been getting a makeover, if you've been buying new makeup, because remember, pentacles are where we spend as well. If you And also, with the normal three of pentacles, so people are asking for advice from a skilled person. So you might be going to a, you know, a boutique and saying, you know, well, what's the best MAC concealer for me to buy? Or what's the best um, Illamask, uh, you know, um, blusher for me to buy? Or what's the best NYX lipstick for me to buy? Or what's the best... Um, Elizabeth Arden, I don't know, face cream or face mask for me to buy? How can I get rid of these lines or how can I get rid of, you know, um, these red veins in my face? It's all about self-improvement. So mentally and emotionally, after you've done this, you might be feeling a bit like the Empress, all right? Mentally and emotionally, you feel good. This is what the Empress is. It's all about mentally and emotionally with the Empress, improving on what you have as well. And it's usually very, very externally, so you can feel good about yourself. And why is that? because of death maybe some of you guys have just come out of a relationship and it's time to have a new you it's time for you guys to start looking really really good brilliant let's have a look at what's going on in the present situation for some of you guys well the world rules the reading it's the crowning area and the world represents sometimes the uh, energies can be around the ending of a cycle especially if this is you guys basically working on yourself now because you've finished in a relationship and it's time to kind of change a few things up with what's going on with you. You want to feel good for, you know, Valentine's for February. You want to meet the one because you've ended a relationship with somebody else and you want to meet somebody new. So the energies around your personal life could be, well, I'm entering into a new phase, the world. All right, I feel on top of the world, maybe. I feel really good about who I am. The energies are, I'm feeling amazing. For some of you guys, it might be if you're in a relationship and you're looking to take it to the next level, then the world says, you know, the energies around your present situation are, I am with my soulmate. We have two soulmate cards here if you're in a relationship. The Empress, Empress is shared attractivity, shared, um, shared feelings, shared depth of feelings, even a shared soul, okay? When you find each other to be the Empress, there's nothing better. You, it's like, you know, you, you wouldn't go out for McDonald's when you've got steak at home, that type of ideology, you know? You are the best. You can't get any better than that. And the world card represents when we've actually met a soulmate. You've met your other half. You've met the person that actually completes the circle for you. So for some of you guys, it might actually be with these two cards, I believe, that you've found your other half. Because the energies with the world card are around, especially if this is a relationship, finding the other half. But we won't know until we see what's going on in the present situation. Wow. Queen of Wands. So, Sagittarius, this can be you. But it can be also another fire sign. Queen of Wands can also, you know, be a... Usually the Queen of Wands, I read her as an Aries. A lot of people, as I said, read her as a Leo. But usually it's, it's difficult, really. So, so many people read her differently. Leo or Aries. Um, for me, she's an Aries. Can be male or female, anyway, for the purposes of the reading. And even if I'm doing a personal reading, I will read her as an Aries. Possibly a Leo, if male or female. So there's a person showing up here in the present. This is sexy ass individual, man. This is uh, confident. This is somebody who gets things done. This is somebody who's a multitasker. This is somebody who, you know, is very, knows their self-worth as an individual. If this is you, uh, Sagittarius, and in the present, you're feeling sexy as hell here. You really, really are. Now, whether you're single or whether you're with someone, you're feeling a sexy ass with this card because that's the Queen of Wands energy. She takes no prisoners, this woman. Trust me on that one. Trust me on that one. You only have to read any book about this Queen of Wands character, and she knows she's got it going on. She uses her body as currency. I don't mean as a prosy. <laughs> prostitute. I don't mean that, Sagittarius. I mean she knows. If she's a woman and she's got big boobs and she's got a big ass and a small waist, she will wear a tight top and a very, very skinny, uh, tight-fitting skirt, probably just above the knees. 
to accentuate that beauty. If she's a voluptuous woman, she'll do the same thing, probably showing the top of her boobs off. She knows how to get attention. This is the classic... I'm not saying that she's an attention seeker, but she's a bit more savvy than that. She knows she's got it on and got it going on, and she does, she's not afraid to show what she's got. If you're a male, you're the same type of thing. Queen of Wands types are leaders, all right? They take no prisoners. They're not coy or shy like, for example, maybe a Queen of Cups would be. Queen of Cups is just as beautiful, but she's not as obvious with it a lot of the time. This type of character is, because whether it's Leo or Aries born leaders, they like to show what they have. All right, and they don't like any other competition either. It's them, their way or no way, a lot of the time. So this is somebody who knows who she is, he or she is. So this is either somebody who's fulfilling you, especially if you're seeing them as the Empress. If your mental and emotional state is based on this person, then this is them. It could be a fellow fire sign. If this is you, this is possibly because you are in love and you're wanting to build on a relationship here, could be that it's making you feel completely amazing, really sexy. And this is like, when you get the Queen once, this is a very passionate relationship that's starting up with someone here. Especially as the energies are the world. It's the, you know, the person means the world to you. They're making you feel incredible. If you're single, it doesn't matter because you're feeling really good. You've made some changes probably here. I'm not saying that you've had plastic surgery or anything like that. But you've definitely been doing some bodily changes here. Some, you know, changes in terms of the way that you look, you know, maybe hitting the gym, for example, you know, buying a new set of clothes, for example, new hairdo, makeup, this, and you're feeling sexy as with the Queen of Wands energy. What's the reason, though, for the Queen of Wands in the present? Well, that's interesting, the Hermit. The reason for the Queen of Wands is the Hermit. The reason that this person is in the present is because of the Hermit. I feel, you know, the Hermit is a number nine card, so it means that you've come to a point of completion. And we do have the Death card here. So for some of you guys, it could be a fellow fire sign. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't even have to be a fire sign. These people can represent anyone, but because of the, for astrological purposes, possibly a fellow fire sign. If this person's showing up and they are your partner and you have a soulmate connection, that world card and the empress here, they're showing up because you've come to the end of loneliness. And that's represented in the death card here, Sagittarius. Because what we're saying here is if you're in a relationship in February with someone, and I feel it would have to be going on from now, the energies are around building a life with this person, three of pentacles. Very good results for all the effort you've put in. Therefore, mentally and emotionally, the empress, feeling beautiful, feeling that your partner is beautiful. Greatly attractive to the other half. And that's because of death. Major changes came in that brought somebody into your life. And that's why in the present, this person shows up here because of the hermit. You come to the end of a stage of searching. Usually when you get hermits, and hermit is number nine. Number nine to represent that you're coming to the stage of completing a, um, a cycle within your life. So there is a, a, a passing of a phase going out here with the hermit. All right. If you're single, and that world card means that you've come to the end of a cycle... Energies are coming to an end of a cycle here, in which, in the present, this is you, the Queen of Wands, feeling really strong, feeling really confident about yourself. It's because of the Hermit. You've gone through a learning stage. This is what the Hermit does. The Hermit goes through a stage of learning, a process of learning. This is why he's often seen as a student, because you can see the light in his hand. He's gone through a stage where he has been trying to find out the truth and you've found the truth. And for some of you guys, it's like, you know, fuck this. I ended a relationship. I'm on my own now, but so the fuck what? I look good. I feel good. I've been doing different changes with myself and I feel bloody amazing. Yeah. And now, you know, in the present, you guys are feeling 100%. You've gone from, what do I call it? Zero to 100, like in a few months. Incredible. And that's because of the hermit. You've found the light. You've found what you've been looking for within yourself. This is the card of inner reflection as well. So you've done a lot of inner reflective work as well as outer work. In amazing. I think so far one of the best readings I've done. What are your hopes for love? Single or in a couple, uh, Sagittarius? Well, it's interesting. That's a different energy because the energies around your hopes are uh, built on the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords represents to be caged. 
Sometimes this is somebody who lives in a gilded cage. It's like the Nine of Pentacles in a way. Nine of Pentacles is a beautiful card, but still that can be somebody who's have got everything but love. They live in a nice flat, they've got nice clothing, they look gorgeous, all the rest of it, but they live a fairly shallow life based on the things that they have and not based on the connections that they're making to others. Sometimes with the Eight of Swords, it means you're not making connections to others. It means that you have a certain way of seeing things all right, and you need changes with the Eight of Swords because a lot of the way that you see things, sometimes you don't see with the Eight of Swords. Sometimes you're locked into a certain mental uh, way of seeing something here with the Eight of Swords. Sometimes you feel literally physically trapped or frustrated sometimes with the um, Eight of Swords energy. It's not the best energy to be, but it's a good energy in a way, I suppose. I'm, I'm expecting a positive card because everything else is positive here. So I am expecting a positive card with this Eight of Swords. Let's see what your actual hopes are for love. Well, the moon, I mean, look, the moon is a card about dream work, all right? So this can be your deepest dreams that you're wanting to manifest. The moon is a card about manifestation. You'll notice on full moons, um, eclipses, all that type of thing, people do a lot, they're the greatest manifestation work. And this is what the moon is. The moon is a card about manifestation. So you are hoping, your hopes are to manifest because the energies are around. There are still things in your life that you're not 100% happy with because the Eight of Swords shows up here as the energy surrounding your hopes. This says that you've got some mental restrictions going on here. Some of you guys might literally feel trapped in a certain way, shape or form. I think if you're in a relationship, things look really good here for me, for Sagittarius. But there is still something that you're not quite 100% A-OK -okay with because the Eight of Swords is showing us the energies around your hopes. And with the moon being your hope, your moon is either to find something else because the moon represents secrets. So when you get a moon card as well, there might be something that's troubling you mentally here around your hopes and desires. And maybe your hopes are to find something out. Maybe something's not very clear to you. can also be with the moon card. Maybe for some reason you're, you're lacking some sort of confidence in an area of your life your relationship maybe and maybe with the moon card what's happening here is with the hopes you're hoping to manifest something because the moon represents your deepest deepest fear not fears can be fears definitely but also your deepest deepest dreams so i want to see what the moon card is based on why your hopes of the moon because of the eight of pentacles and the eight of pentacles represents a card again we've got three of pentacles here eight of pentacles here and this is the card of somebody who is very very focused on uh, a skill all right so they're focused on improving their skills they're focused on um working hard towards a goal with the eight of pentacles the root issue of this moon card is you've been working really hard on something or somebody's been working really hard on something here all right um just going to take a look at those cards for a moment and just think a little bit about this because your hopes are the moon and it's because of the eight of pentacles I mean, the moon could be also, I mean, your hopes are for a moonlight dinner, for example. I know it sounds crazy, but it could be, you know. The moon signifies clandestine affairs. So for some of you guys, it might be, with the energies being the Eight of Swords, there might be some limit, especially if you're in a relationship, there might be some limitations here in a relationship. Maybe those limitations are rooted in work. We do have a work card here. Maybe the partner works too hard. Maybe you're hoping for the moon. Maybe something very sexual. Uh, something very, you know, risky, you know, something very, uh, um, yeah, risque happening. Maybe there is a man, there's a mundanity to the Eight of Pentacles. So when you get this card, sometimes this is where you're doing something, you know, it becomes um, almost like a pattern or there's a mundanity to your life with a partner. So there could be something about there being something very mundane within the relationship and that's why the energies around your relationship in terms of your hopes are the Eight of Swords. Maybe there's some frustration Especially if you're in a relationship, frustration because there's a mundanity to the relationship. There's a certain pattern where it doesn't really veer from any type of change. And maybe with that moon card, you want to explore that. The hopes are to explore your deepest, deepest dreams. Maybe in the bedroom you have the same sort of sexual... Um, what do we call it? Same sort, of, same sort of sex positions that time. I don't want to turn this into that type of reading because I don't do sex readings and stuff. A lot of tarot readers do, and that's fair enough. But I'm, I'm not. The, I don't do that. But you know, you understand what I'm trying to say here. Your hopes are for the moon, and the moon can be a clandestine affair. So it can be, you know, things that you're hoping to get a bit raunchy over the um, over the um, uh, Valentine period with your partner because maybe sex is a bit mundane with the Eight of Pentacles, if you see what I mean. And maybe there is a little bit of the energies that are around. Also, the energies with the Eight, eight of Swords can mean bondage and stuff. Shit, I really don't want to turn it into this type of reading. But I'm just looking at the cards, and the energies might be around something to do with bondage and shit like that. 
because your hopes are the moon to manifest your deepest desires, especially when it comes to the bedroom, because it's based on the Eight of Pentacles, boredom, or, you know, the same old, same old in the bedroom, or the same old this or the same old that. I feel that you want changes, especially if you're in a relationship and you want to do something a bit more raunchy and risky, and that just livens up the relationship a bit, a bit. I don't see this as a bad thing at all. I think if you're single, then the energies around the Eight of Swords is you just need some form of freedom. You need to be released from something here with the Eight of Swords. And your hopes are for the moon. Um... For some of you guys, it might be a Pisces person. Moon can represent a Pisces person. But also your moon card, again, is about manifesting your deepest desires. So this is a manifestation card, is the moon card. Okay, When you get the moon, it's about, you know, a lot of people, when there is a full moon, they're manifesting. When there is a full moon, they tend to feel more susceptible to certain energies. All right, so I feel that this is manifestation a lot of you guys are hoping for with the moon card or something to come about, something to be revealed. And that's because it might be with the Eight of Pentacles. Your lives in one way, shape or form, it feels kind of a little bit mundane. What are your expectations in, in terms of love? Well, it's interesting because your expectations are surrounded by the Five of Cups. And I'm wondering why that is. Because the Five of Cups means hurt. And I don't think that this is in a relationship with you guys. I feel if it is in a relationship, then there's been some sadness. Five of Cups doesn't always mean loss. Sometimes it just means I'm feeling a bit hurt, a bit upset. Um, you know, I feel a bit low about something. But the energies, especially if you're single, it could be the energies around your expectation is that, you know, you're still, you know, the energies are, I desire to have something back that I had in the past. Because that's what the Five of Cups is. It's where you're still focused on the past and you're still focused on the hurt and the pain. This person almost prays at the altar of the three cups, all right? He's almost praying, please let these cups upstand again. He doesn't know that, you know, there's um, opportunities behind him for love. He's still focused on what he misses and what he doesn't have. But let's have a look what your expectations are, Sagittarius. Well, there you go. You're expecting a king of wands. There's somebody here that's still on your mind, especially if you are single, I feel. Um, I feel that if you're single, you've been really making the best of yourself. And this is why your hopes are for the moon. This is somebody probably that you've been dreaming about as well with the moon. All right. Because it looks to me now that we've got these cards, especially if you're single. The hopes that you've got, well, the energies are around somebody that you, when you get out of source, this is often somebody that you can't get off your mind. You can't stop thinking about this individual when you get out. This is somebody who's going round and round and round in your head. Difficult to let go of them mentally. And that's why your hopes are the moon. This card here is very associated with nightmares, dreams, and this card is as well. So your hopes are to manifest. Also, this card can say, you know, through the moon, through reaching a point of clarity, maybe I'm hoping to release myself from this. Because this is something that keeps going over and over and over again without any true resolution. But this is someone for some of you guys playing around in your mind. The energies are of something mental going on here with the Eight of Swords. And therefore, you're hoping for the moon. Maybe a manifestation here to occur. Because Eight of Pentacles, maybe you put a lot of hard work into this relationship. Maybe this is something that you can't let go of. Eight of Pentacles often means you do something over and over and over again. Something you can't help. And that's because your expectations are, well, they're based on Five of Cups. You desire to have something back for some of you guys, Sagittarius. You can't let go of something here. And therefore, the expectation is for a King of Wands. Why are you expecting a King of Wands, though? Because of justice. Some of you guys are feeling that somebody's your soulmate here. You've got three soulmate cards showing up here. The World, Empress, Justice, and to an extent, that Moon card as well. All right. Some of you guys might be hoping that this is a shared connection, especially if you can't get somebody off your mind. The moon also represents the sixth sense and it represents a shared connection as well. I read this also as a soulmate to inflame card being the moon. The moon is that shared connection that both parties feel. So the energies are around. You can't stop thinking around someone, especially if you're single. The hope is that maybe this person feels the same way too. They sense your energy. It's a sixth sense that it's shared connection because of the eight of pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is interesting because this is a card about hard work and effort being put into a certain area. Maybe you both put an effort, an effort into a relationship at some point. But your expectations are around wanting something that Five of Cups. Energies are the Five of Cups. So it's an energy with this card. You can't let go of something here and therefore you're expecting a King of Wands to come back to you and that's because of justice. Justice represents completion. All right. 
Maybe you're expecting a King of Wands because of a decision that this person makes with the Justice card. But you're expecting a King of Wands also because of justice, a time of whatever it is, especially if here, in your present situation, we see you guys here as the Queen of Wands. And you're showing us the Queen of Wands because you're coming out of a place now of darkness with the Hermit. You found the light, you find the answers. And maybe those answers are rooted in what the root issue is for your expectations, justice. You've reached a point of completion now and you're feeling right. Now is the time that this person should perhaps come back to me. That type of thing. Let's have a look at what your uh, hidden factors are, what you're not seeing coming in as yet. Well, there's an emperor showing up, so energies are around an emperor. This can be another person here. Emperors are usually represent an Aries, um, Aries individual. But also this is somebody who's quite an authoritative individual, somebody who can be a patriarchal figure, somebody who has a lot of control, somebody who can have a great effect on you, somebody who's very charismatic, that type of thing. But what is it that you're actually not seeing going on about this emperor? Well, you're not seeing the two of wands. So it could be that this emperor is the king of wands. King of wands is usually read as a Leo, but can also be seen as an Aries sometimes. So it could be that, you know, this person here, you consider to be the emperor, all right? You consider this person to be really... Uh, and especially if you see yourself as the empress, you're feeling like the empress, then this would, it would stand to reason that this person is your other half, the emperor here. And maybe what you're not seeing is this person has a decision to make to come back, especially if you're single. So it might be that this person has a decision... Two of Wands means I can go one way or I can go the other. And the energies are around an Emperor. So this Emperor is looking at things in a very logical, rational, uh, clinical way, if you like. There's very little emotion with this individual. They will think about returning to someone based on what the facts are. All right? They're not going to look to returning to you if this is what some of you guys are looking for because they emotionally feel that it's right. They'll always go with their heads rather than their hearts, Emperors. So they've got two ways that they can go here. And why is that? Ah, because there was a severe breakup for some of you guys to uh, the tower. That's what this is based on. So what you're not seeing is this person here, the emperor, they've got a decision that they need to make in February. And that could go either way. And that's because maybe for some of you guys, there was a severe breakdown of a relationship here. I feel that if you're in a secure relationship, this doesn't, this more than likely doesn't apply to you. I feel it applies to you up until these two areas here. But I feel that if you're single or you've, you know, and you've broken up with someone potentially, it's, it's applying all the way through Sagittarius. What's going on in the immediate future for you guys? Ah, oh, well, the immediate future, the crowning area is around love. There could be new love, potentially, the energies of new love coming in for you. Um, if we get a Six of Cups here, or uh, a Judgment card, it might be that this is from the past. We'll see what this is. Well, the Seven of Cups is the... Well, you know, this is a new love, potentially. The energies are saying to you that there is the potential for new love to come in. And what's actually showing up is options and choices that will be presented to you in the immediate future, Sagittarius. And what's that based on? What's the reason for that? The magician. So the magician represents starting over again. The universe is aligning you. When you get a magician card, what you think about is what you bring about, okay? So the magician talks also about manifestation. These choices, these options for different lovers, different relationships are coming in. Because perhaps you put yourself in the right place at the right time with that magician. You're starting to manifest. There's something that's manifesting you. But obviously, you can't manifest. You can't align yourself with manifestation unless you've put yourself in a position where you can actually experience that. All right? The magician card isn't all about clicking your fingers and abracadabra it appears. You've got to put some of the work in in order to have things you know, come together. So a lot of this is dependent on where you are and what you're doing. Because these seven cups here... The options, the choices that you'll have in terms of love over February are based on the notion of the magician. And the magician says you have resources. The resources are at your fingertips, whether that's online dating, whether that's going out for a night out with friends. There are resources here for you to tap into to meet new people, Sagittarius. All right. This person here that some of you guys might be pining over, this person has a decision to make. And that decision is based on the tower. All right. The reason for this person having a decision to make is because there was a breakup with that tower and ending. And it might have been quite severe for some of you guys. 
So you might not, you know, expect to see that person anytime soon, Sagittarius. And what's going in in the overall outcome? Well, the Six of Pentacles, the energies are with the Six of Pentacles. Sometimes this is a one-sided relationship that we're seeing here. Sometimes this can mean that you're in demand, that other people, you know, especially when you've got these options here, it could be the overall energy, that people are interested in you with that Six of Pentacles because you can be the one here, this person here, who's showing attention to the different hands that are being held out like that. So it could mean that you're in demand or if you're the person that's holding your hand out, then it means that, you know, you're not so much the centre of attention, but the energies might be around you being the centre of attention. Let's see what the overall outcome shows us there. Well, it shows us the Seven of Swords. And the overall outcome can show um, being savvy, you know. Seven of Swords is difficult because it either means deception. And I'm not, I'm going to see why we've got the Seven of Swords because of the Two of Swords. I feel that this is just you guys playing the field, some of you. Okay. I feel this is you guys playing the field. And I feel that what this is saying is, is you, the overall outcome for December is, you know, you might be in demand here. You might be the centre of attention with the Six of Pentacles. And that's because the actual, this is the energies around it, the actual um, overall outcome is the Seven of uh, Swords. You're kind of playing the field with this Seven of Swords energy, Sagittarius. And that's because of the Two of Swords. You're choosing to trust, try and ignore or block somebody out. Two of Swords means to forget, ignore, block out can mean decisions to be made, but I feel that because you've changed so much, there's somebody here that you're thinking of, but you know that this is possibly not happening with somebody here, so you just choose to block this person out, and you're just going to play the field, play around a little bit with different options. We'll go through this reading again, Sagittarius. It was very, very interesting, a lovely reading as well, really, really good. Uh, some of you guys, as I've said, mental and emotionally, you are looking to expand a relationship, results for effort, three of pentacles, Mentally and emotionally, you might be feeling extraordinarily beautiful, loved, cared for, supported with the Empress energy. You might be feeling completely attracted to a particular person that comes in, could be new. Feeling a deep soul connection with this Empress card, but usually the Empress is based on superficial attraction as well. And that's because of death, major change may have come in, in terms of relationship-wise. You might have ended a relationship and gone into another one. And therefore, you know... Uh, mentally and emotion, um, sorry, in the present situation, some of you guys might feel that you found your soulmate, the world card of the energies around this, it might be a fellow fire sign, queen of wands, or it might be you feeling extraordinarily beautiful, sexy, in which the energies would be, well, maybe this person makes me feel that way, because the reason for this is the, the hermit, I've come out of a time of darkness now, I've done my search, and my search is complete with the hermit card, for some of you guys, if it's a, um, that you come out of a relationship, Three of Pentacles is, the energies around your mental and emotional state is you want to be recognised for all the hard work that you've put in. And that's to the self, the Empress, because mentally and emotionally you're feeling like the Empress. The results are, I feel, really good. Change your hairstyle, makeup, um, clothing. Uh, I look really good. I'm feeling really fine. I'm feeling ready. You know, and that's because of death and ending. And we know that when people end relationships, Sagittarius, one of the first things that they do is they go for an overhaul. You know, so they start, you know, doing their hair, their makeup and everything. They start just changing their appearance a lot of the time. So I feel that some of you guys might be, if you've come out of a relationship, you're not wanting in one. You want recognition for the effort that you've put into yourself because you might have come out of a, a big relationship, death card, ending. And therefore, mentally and emotionally, the energies are around changing cycles in which you now feel really good about yourself. Queen of Wands energy, and this must be you. All right, especially if you've just come out of something here, you're feeling sassy, beautiful, sexy as, confident, this, that and the other. And that's based on the Hermit. The Hermit card says that you've been through a period of learning. All right, you've possibly spent a long time, could have been going off from last year, learning who you are, developing new ways of being with the Hermit card, doing a lot of self-help, which the Hermit card can mean. It means you read self-help books, you watch self-help videos, that type of thing. And it's all really to help you develop on the inside as well as the out. So we've got the Empress and the Hermit here, two great comb uh, combinations together, I feel, because it's not just about the outside of what you look like, it's also about what goes on on the inside. In your hopes... It might be for some of you guys, you know, if you are in a relationship, I feel that there are still some restrictions here around the relationships. Maybe one of you guys, one of you has a certain restrictions about what goes on in the bedroom, you know. Maybe, you know, one of you's not into <laughs> handcuffs and all that shit. Maybe one of you guys just isn't into that. And maybe one of you is like, fuck it, Valentine's, let's try it out. Let's go see, I don't know what it is. What's that film? 
Fifty Shades of Grey or something like that. Yeah, let's go see Fifty Shades of Grey and see some bondage shit. Whatever the fuck it is they do in that film. But that type of thing going on. You know, because it can be. It can be. The energies are around, you know. Let's try some whatever it is out sort of thing, you know. Or one of you is a little bit restricted. And therefore, the hopes are, let's try some shit. Let's try some of my deepest, deepest desires. That type of thing. Oh, I can turn this into no sex reading. But at the end of the day, you know, some readers do this. And it would be interesting just to see if... Obviously, nobody's going to admit this in the comments section, so I'm not expecting you lot to come back and say, yeah, man, yeah, we tried some bondage shit, about four of us, this shit. <laughs> I'm not expecting any of you guys to come back and say that to me at all. You wouldn't. Fair enough. But, you know, it might be. You you know, you, your hopes are to explore your deepest desires with the moon card because, the, the you know, the sex and the relationship might be a little bit mundane if you are involved in this, you know, eight of pentacles. If you are a single uh, Sagittarius, I feel that, that, yes, there are some mental restrictions going on here. Somebody's going on around and around and around in your mind. You can't get them off your mind here. And that's because your hopes are for the moon. And the moon is to manifest your deepest dreams and desires. Because maybe, you know, you've been doing a lot of focusing on this with the Eight of Pentacles. In your expectations, well, the energies are around the Five of Cups. All right. Now, if you are in a relationship, it might be that there's been some sadness. The energies are around, you know, I'm feeling really upset. Maybe this person doesn't want to do no bondage, no handcuff shit. <laughs> and therefore you're expecting the King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is a pretty passionate guy. So your expectations are for this person to make an approach to do something, to have a bit of fun, because the King of Wands is fun. And that is because of justice. Maybe this person makes a decision, you know what I mean? Yeah, let's, um, you know... Let's get some, uh, whatever it is, handcuffs, whatever it is that people do, out. That type of thing. It's just a little bit of a joke there. But I feel more, mainly this is uh, more singles here from here. That, you know, if you, your mind is on someone here, um, Sagittarius, you know, the energies are around some form of loss or upset. And therefore your expectations are for this person to come back to you, King of Wands. And that's because of justice. Now, it could be that you're expecting... You, see, the thing is, I can't say, you know, if this... You know, if, if it had shown in the reading, Sagittarius, a different thing. For example, the Ace of Cups here, you were expecting the Ace of Cups, this would be new love. All right? And that's because of justice, getting rewarded for all your efforts that you've put in, especially here with this Empress card and here in your present. All right? You've put a lot of hard work into yourself, into your internal self, your external self, so you're expecting new love because of justice, reward for effort. But it shows a court card. So to me, this is you're actually knowing exactly what you're expecting, who you're expecting. All right. Not unless you're expecting somebody who's quite fun or, you know, you have a certain idea of the type of person you want to attract him. We could say that maybe this is somebody new that you want, but you have an ideal. And it would have to be the archetypes of the King of Wands, motivated, leader, um, very sexy, uh, knows his own mind, very good speaker, outspoken, suited and booted successful entrepreneur all of those archetypes with that are affiliated with king of ones some of you guys might be expecting to meet this type of individual but i don't think that's the case i think this is somebody that you want to come back to you you're expecting this person to come back and that's because of justice maybe they've had time to make up their mind maybe you feel that right now especially if your hopes are the moon manifestation somebody's been on your mind eight of swords possibly with this card you've been doing a lot of manifestation techniques in the, with that when you try doing visualization and manifestation law of attraction see you've got to be in the eight of swords but not in terms of um uh the swords being an obstacle in terms of your uh what am i trying to say here in terms of your feelings when you do law of attraction shit sagittarius you can't be eight of swords mentally so that means you can't be feeling blockages but in terms of what you're trying to uh, uh, manifest into your world, you've got to be, you know, really focused on it. And that's where the Eight of Swords might come in. Energies might be around hopes, complete focus, because you're hoping to manifest something here with the moon, because you have been applying yourself completely to this. So there could be some manifestation of having somebody come back to you here, and that's why you're expecting a King of Wands, because the manifestation techniques you may have been putting into getting somebody back here justice would say that the universe has aligned you now with this particular person and they're coming back so they might be expecting somebody to come back to you because there's been a lot of dream work a lot of manifestation work into getting somebody back into your life however what you're not seeing is that this person is completely in control of what they are and who they are um okay so yeah 
what we're seeing here is, you know, you might be trying in a very kind of a law of attraction manifestation way, dream work, you know, possibly working with um, a twin flame guide or somebody that does twin flame readings who's saying you need to do this, this and this if you want them all. Possibly even for some of you guys, Moon can also talk about things like spells and shit like that. Mate, I'm not saying you're doing it, but some people do this type of thing to get a next level back into their life. They do spell work and shit, white spells, that type of thing. But the problem is that this person here, is in, you can't... Um, you know, you can't get an emperor back. You can't, because this person's too dominant. Too much of a dominant force is the emperor. So this person would be far, far, far too difficult to get back into your life. It really will, because this person really knows their own mind. All right, they're not easily affected. The the um the emperor isn't emotionally wise. Not easily affected at all. Sagittarius, and therefore, what you're not seeing is this person can go either way. All right, you believe that somebody might be coming back to you. Especially if they've, you know, they've, you've ended it. You've been working on yourself really, really well. But also it might be that you've been working towards getting this individual back as well. But it's saying in the hidden fact is this person's not going to be so easy to get back into your life. They're really not. Because they're showing as an emperor. The energies are around an emperor. And this is somebody who's fully in control. They're not the emperor in reverse. Lack of control. Weakness. This is a very, very strong person. All right, Knows their own mind. And therefore what you're not seeing is they could go either way. And that's because of the tower, you know. They could go either way because maybe your relationship was built on false pretenses rather than anything strong in the first place. So therefore, the immediate future is showing up. Well, energies are around. Well, there's the possibility of new love coming in. But it's saying to you, the immediate future is that you've got choices that are out there. And these choices are based on the magician. Now, the magician is also... You've got to make this happen, because that's what the Magician card says, Sagittarius. It says, you know, if you've been waiting for a lover to come back, or you've been trying to manifest them back into your life, any type of spell work, anything like that, pointless, don't bother doing it, because it's going against the laws of the universe, fuck it. And this person's too strong anyway to manipulate in that type of way, Sagittarius. So what you need to do, the energies are around, there's new love, Ace of Cups, but you need to go out and find it, because it's saying in the immediate future there will be choices but that's based on the magician, your potential to manifest those things with the magician. And the magician isn't all about, I click my fingers and there it appears. It can be with the magician, but you need to act on it. You know, so you might say to yourself, well, I'd love to have a new lover come into my life. But what are you doing about it? Are you sitting at home or are you actually putting yourself out there to get yourself noticed? Because we do see with some of you guys that you are, the energies are around uh, receiving recognition for all of the hard work that you've been putting into yourself with that empress and also the hermit. So go out there and show it off. The good thing is the outcome is, yeah, you do. Because the six of pentacles can be, well, I'm the centre of attention. Energies are centre of attention. This is you, the person who's giving money to the various hands. What it's saying is you're giving your attention to various people here in the outcome, the overall energies. And that's because what's manifesting in the overall outcome is the seven of swords. You're playing the field. You're being very, very savvy. But you're only being savvy because you're blocking someone out. Two of swords. So make sure that in February, if you're, you know, if you're going out and you're enjoying yourself or trying to enjoy yourself, make sure you're not doing it in anger because I sense anger between those two cards. Somebody's being a little bit... Um, I'm not saying that you're being manipulative, but what I'm saying is the seven of swords is, you know, it's, it's being a little bit cunning or it's being a little bit, you know... I'm just playing the field, which is what the Seven of Swords. You get that in type in the, uh, for a type of person. This person's not serious. So just make sure, you know, and it's fine if you're not serious. That's fine. But just make sure you don't mess anybody around uh, Sagittarius because you're angry, because you're trying to block out this Emperor, straight King of Wands individual, all right, because you didn't get what you wanted. Just make sure that you... Um, that you're just doing things in fun. Just make sure you're having fun more than anything else. And just make sure that nothing is being done in anger or in in heartbreak or anything like that. Okay? Um, okay? All right, I'm going to get your... Um, I don't think it is, but it's just left me a bit cold with this card here, the reason for why this was happening with you guys. And two swords classically means because no contact or blocking out. Some of you guys, it might be a case of, you know, oh, fuck it, this person's not getting back to me, so, you know, this is the two of swords here, so, you know, I'm just going to play the field seven of swords, I'm going to play around a little bit here, you know. It's a good, it's a good reading, but I think that you just need to do things in purity. You know, if somebody's right for you, Sagittarius, they'll come back to you, if not, then they won't. That's the way that I see things in life. Either way, 
relationships seem very good. If you're in a relationship, very good. Might need some work. Maybe you need to kind of like, you know, tell your partner it's okay for them to wear a pair of handcuffs or something like that. But I'm just saying things in jest. I just jest, uh, Sagittarius. But, you know, if there's things that you want to do that you haven't been doing with your partner, that type of thing, then, you know, see how it goes. But everything seems good in the relationship department. If you are not in a relationship, you are missing with someone, just go about your business in February and enjoy your life. Don't wait for people that aren't waiting for you. So... Let's have a look at what your um, advice card is, Sagittarius, in terms of your love lives in the month of February 2017. Universe Spirit, what is the advice card for Sagittarius in the month of February 2017? What is the advice card for Sagittarius in the month of February 2017? Show me. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Beautiful message. Let's get what that means here. Okay. Your prayers for great love have been heard and answered and it all begins with you. You have the power to revive passion in your life. In fact, no one can bring it to you but you and it's true. Look, this is what it's saying right here in the immediate future. This card guides you to seek that which brings you great joy, such as a hobby, cause, or special activity. Anything that stirs your heart with joy will help passion bubble forth and positively flow into your romantic life. The romance angels say that having a passion for life itself is a requisite foundation for feeling passion in your love life. This means enjoying this moment completely, and when you do so with a partner, you inspire him or her romantically to participate with you. But there goes the handcuffs then. <laughs> If you're presently single, you can definitely enjoy passion in your activities and hobbies. And who knows? Such pursuits may provide an opportunity to meet a wonderful partner and she shared. And this is what it's saying. Jeez, look at it. That's what it's saying here. Don't focus on shit. Don't focus on people that ain't coming back, Sagittarius. You have to focus on you. And I know as cliched as that is, it's the bloody truth. You've got to focus on you, Sagittarius. Far too many times we get caught up with an idea about a particular person who's been in our lives. And you know all that does? It just blocks you from having the real deal come in. It really does block you. So this reading is really saying if you're single, focus on those passions. And this is why it's saying you've got choices in the immediate future. You have choices that you can pursue here. But it's based on the magician. It's based on the resources that you see around you, you have around you. If you've got an arts and crafts class, go to it if you like that type of thing. If you've got an amateur dramatics class, go to it. If you see it, because the energies are around, true love could be coming in. But you have the choices. The immediate future is saying, well, it's your choice. There are plenty of things here that you could do. But it's based on the magician. There's resources out there that you can actually tap into to have these things happen. But also it's based on the magician and it says, well, you could make these things happen. It really does. This card in the overall outcome can say, well, you escape. Overall outcome, you escape this Think of the emperor and this, all this stuff, the, you know, wanting someone back. And that's because you managed to block them out, which is good. Let's have a quick look at what the healing, because I feel some of you guys might need some healing. We're going to have a look at the healing with the angels and just see what advice they have. Universe Spirit, what is the advice that you have for... Um, Sagittarius, healing with the angels card. What is the advice that you have for Sagittarius in terms of their love lives in the month of February 2017? Show me. Support. And that's a lovely card to get as well. Let's see what the support says for you. This card reassures you that you are part of an awesome and powerful team of benevolent beings. They surround, guide and love you constantly. If you are in danger, they will intervene with warnings or life-saving measures. If you are afraid, they will comfort you with the energy of divine love. If you are confused, they will whisper guidance in your ear. By drawing this card, your angels and guides ask you to talk to them more frequently, have mental conversations with them about everything and you will soon see evidence of their existence. Soon the angels will enlist you to help other people. If you ever feel doubtful about your ability to help others, ask the angels to help you release these fears. Well, it's important to know that you are supported, okay, in everything that you do. Don't feel that you're on your own. Especially, you know, a lot of you guys in this reading, look like you've come so, so far. You really do, from what I can see, the energy has been. Especially if you're single and looking for love. You really have come very, very far, 
all right? If there's somebody around you, you still want them back, they're not coming forth, then leave it. Because you'll have support in other areas. As I said, it's not worth holding on to the past. You've still just got to move on to the future. It's really important. As cliched as it is, it's the truth. I think that's it. I think that's all the cards we're going to use for your advice cards. I think that's all you need, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, we'll do one more advice card. One more advice. And it's point of attraction card. These getting into the vortex. Abraham hit. I think that would be a really good advice point to give to Sagittarius. Abraham, can you please tell us the advice that you have for Sagittarius and their love lives in the month of February 2017? What is the advice, Abraham, that you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising signs and their love lives in February 2017? Show me. There we go. I have control of the vibration that I offer. And that is perfect. Once you begin to believe or expect good feeling things to come, you're in the vortex. And this is what it's saying in the reading. And once you get in there, now you are a cooperative component. Now you get to rendezvous with all the good stuff that you have put there. And you can train yourself there. You can do it in a day. You have control of everything that rendezvous with you. When you get control of the vibration that you offer and you get control of the vibration that you offer when you care about how you feel. And that's really, really true. It does. Now, if this emperor doesn't represent a person, then this is representing that it's you. The energies are around you taking control because you've got two ways that you can go. And that is based on the tower, how you react. The tower is a reaction card. So for some of you guys, if this isn't a person here, then this is say you have control. What you're not seeing is that you have control over how you feel. So therefore, what the hidden factor is, you've got two directions that you can go. And that direction is based on how you react to it with the tower. Towers are reactions. All right. So, which way do you want to go, Sagittarius? Especially if you've been not been in a relationship with someone or you've been waiting for someone. You know, this is also important here in the overall outcome because the Seven of Swords isn't always the truth. So you're acting kind of out of sync a little bit with this card. It's because sometimes you're trying to block someone out here. It's like, fuck you with this card. I'll block you, I'll do whatever. You know, do it in joy, but not in pain. All right? It's telling you to live your passions here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And I feel that you need, whether you're in a relationship or not, it's really important that you do that for love in the month of February 2017. That's your reading, Sagittarius. I would like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. I will be back um, in February again, I think. I'm not sure. I want to do some soulmate, proper twin flame readings. I want to see... What's going on? Who's your proper twin flame? I would love to see that. I get this asked all the time and I think it's a fascinating question and it's a fascinating thing. I've been, you know, doing a lot of studying up on this. So we're going to talk about it um, at some point. I'm probably going to offer these as, you know, standalone readings on the website. I want to sit down and talk about it. All right. So, yeah, look out for those videos. They're coming real soon. going to really enjoy doing them. Love you guys so much and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.